Chantal is unhinged in Nader's chat. I love you. Will you marry me? I have the ring. Bus boos a wedding cake. Claim me. Good night. Love you all. Obsession ketchup chips. You blushed reading your comment. Did he? No, did he? <laughs> he loves me. Do you guys think he loves me? Do you believe he was smiling at your message? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> you know he loves me. You know he loves me. Do I think he loves me? <laughs> I love this boy. I love this man. I do. I love him. I love him. I'm sorry, Dee. We love each other. He knows I do. It's the only reason he's still talking to me. He's stubborn. He's the type of person if you, like, fuck him over in any way. Or cross him. Or even if you're in the rut. It doesn't matter. He, he holds grudges. Like, he told me a story about someone in prison that, like... Made fun of him for being like, uh, made fun of him for some reason. And he at the time couldn't beat the shit out of the person. And then, like, one day he saw the guy on the street and he was able to, like, beat him up. So he got his revenge. So he always gets his right, but he doesn't do that with me. I think because he loves me. This was me at 16 after I had my friend talk to my first BF about me. Do you think he loves me? He loves me. Oh my god, was he blushing and smiling? With the same stupid voice and smile. Imagine being this desperate. Wow, this is so pathetic. He can't stand her. I tried. I really tried to pay attention. What the fuck is he talking about in this clip? I always lose the plot waiting for Chantel to get to the point. Very smart. These scammers are going to play them all like fine-tuned fiddles. The storyline is odd. She's great at playing the mentally ill, lovesick pup for Nader to raking in that money because her wallet is hurting a bit now cause views are down and payday is soon. This is scary. Where are the people with the straight jackets? Fucking delusional. There are no words for her. She needs a mental institution ASAP. No, Jesus. Not another summer of this lunatic gushing over Nader. For the love of Pete, someone commit this woman to a padded room. Keep talking and letting us know, again, what a vile person he is. Keep talking, she idiot. This all confirms her lies and manipulation when she told everyone that he was a horrible, dangerous man and that she was worried about Dee Dee. Crazy sycophant. He showed your gross ass panties for the world to see. He made fun of you being a fat bitch. He moved in with another woman and are a way to get away from you. He threatened you with a restraining order and he will never claim you. Of course he loves you, you delusional dingbat. Haven't had to listen to drivel like that since middle school. Am I the only one who thinks she's being this extra to distract? She lied. Exaggerated SA? Yes, and I am fuming that it feels like people aren't focusing on that anywhere near as much as they should be. I thought the reactions would speak on nothing but that for a month. I think you are spot on. She does this time and time again. Yes, we are getting the crackhead wedding. At French Fry G, she is nuts. My instincts are telling me this is to get more views on his channel. Maybe if she's over there acting thirsty, more people will watch this stream. So much WTF, did you see these? Can you collab with the Beezer Show? The Beezer Show wants to collab in Montreal sightseeing, lol. We will pay you commission of $38.67. Was that actually her or her troll account? Major yikes. It was confirmed that it was her. She is the saddest, most desperate woman I've ever seen. Crazy. So pathetic and desperate. What is that smell? Oh yeah, desperation. Sorry Dee Dee, we're in love. Later that night, Nada is nuts deep in Dee Dee's doo-doo. Chantal, you fool. 
Whoa, fatal attraction. I can't wait to see a reaction video to Nader's reaction. Did he read them? Did Didi read them? Not sure if they're just trolling or if she's just that pathetic and trying to divert from them scamming with the DV slash SA charges they faked. They did see her messages and he confirmed it was her. I was also in the chat when she was typing it out. Cringe to the mask. By in her chat, I mean watching the live stream. No way in hell would I pay to interact with her. Damn, this is a whole new level of desperate. And he'll be loving every minute of it. Playing her for every last cent and piece of soul she has left. He thinks what he's doing is clever. Nope, buddy. You're a grifter. An abuser. A loser. How humiliating. She's unhinged. Bunny boiler. How many are you if you are super in love right now? How many of you are super in love right now? You know, I went to Cuba and everything, and I had sex with another man. And the op only thing, the only thing I could think of was him. The only thing I could, Renee was good looking too. Dang, holy shit. I'm gonna show you a picture of Renee. He was fucking hot, shit. Can you guys see this? Can you guys see that? Holy fucking shit! Look at him! Oh yeah! He was hot, but... The whole time I was in love with someone else. Doxing someone else? Great move, Chantal. Nobody in the chat pointed out that Renee was posing with his wife. People expose him on the farm, so many of us know what he looks like. Also, don't forget he's married with young kids. That looks exactly like the guy Kiwi Farms found, and she said they got the wrong guy. I call BS. I don't know why this has made me so angry, but it has. I'm I'm, I'm Moti about her doxing him or confirming his dox. What the fuck did she take? How many and which drugs? A bottle of wine and 500 milligrams of THC. So she says. So. Kiwi Farms correctly doxed him. Lol, sex never happened. Did she just show a picture of her Cuban hookup posing with his wife? If that was his wife, then I guess so. These people are something else. 